role-playing games. Nowadays, traditional RPGs role -playing games, seem to be out of fashion. First-person shooters and online games became the new focus of people's attention. To me, however, nothing beats a good RPG with a sound plot. Graphical effects and battle experience aside, the opportunity to take a break from your boring, ordinary life and play some hero in an epic adventure always appeals to me more than anything else. Lately, I've been having a problem. Every time I try to play a game, a voice inside my head would scream to me, Hey, it's my turn! At first I thought it's just me hearing things, so I tried to ignore it. However, the voice soon grew so loud that I could hardly concentrate on playing the games. Eventually, I had to give up the games which I loved so much. But instead of leaving me alone, the voice began to assault me even when I was not playing, on the bus, in my bedroom, and even when I was sitting on the toilet. Get lost! It's my turn! Finally, I made up my mind to pay a visit to the psychiatrist. The doctor, a scrawny old man in an oversized white gown, asked me to lie down on a long leather sofa and proceed to babble away on stuff so I could barely understand. Sigmund Freud, self-denial, blah blah blah. In no time I was so confused that my eyelids felt heavy and I could barely keep myself awake. Get out of that sofa! I said it's my turn! Oh my god, can't you sucker leave me alone for just one minute? Furious, I jumped up from the sofa, ignoring that look on the psychiatrist's face, screamed at the top of my lungs. Alright, it's your freaking turn. Satisfied? For a few seconds, everything turned black. And then, as my eyes adjusted slowly to the darkness around me, I found myself sitting on a small sofa facing a huge TV set. Flashing on the screen were the words, The Sims 12, in green capital letters. Before I could figure out what was happening, a large hand snatched the headset from my hand and gave me a heavy shove, which sent me stumbling out the sofa. As I scrambled to my feet, bewildered, I saw a tall man in jeans and a red t-shirt sitting down on the sofa. I can't believe you haven't played for so long, dude. He muttered in that familiar voice I've heard for a thousand times within my head. You don't own this friggin' arcade, you know.